In this video, I'm going to do a very brief tutorial on how to record a video in Zoom and how to access that video file and upload it to your preferred choice of video platform. So to get started, I'm just going to start a new meeting in Zoom, of course. Then I'm going to make it full screen and I'm not going to turn on my camera and I'm not really even going to record audio, but you could turn on your camera, record your audio, share your screen, whatever it is you would like to do. I am just going to then click the record button and you can decide if you want to record on your device or record to the cloud. It doesn't matter too much, but it just affects where you're going to find the recording. So for this demonstration, I'm going to record on this computer. And in this case, my audio is turned off, so I'm just going to continue with that audio. And now, as you can see in the top corner, my recording has started. This is the point where I can share my screen. I can do whatever else I would want to be captured in my video. When I'm done, I will click stop recording. And it's letting me know that the file will be converted to an MP4 video file when the meeting ends. So now that I'm done, I will click end meeting. And it's just letting me know that it was completing it. And now I um, automatically have the file opened for where my video file will be, as well as my separate audio file. Uh, and I just want to clarify that the video file will include audio if you've recorded it. It just also is providing you a version that is audio only. If you get lost and you don't know where this folder is, let's say you close it, typically where you will find it is, um, it depends on your device, but in my case, it would be on this PC. Under Documents, I would scroll to the Zoom folder, and this is where I can see the different folders for different recordings. It might be a little bit different on your device, so just take some time to find where Zoom recordings are saved on your device. So then I would just go to the folder that I want, and now I can see this video file. It's an MP4 file, which is a video type, and I see the length of it, I see the size of the file, and this is the file that I can now do what I choose with. So if I want to upload it to YouTube, I can do that. If I want to upload it to Panopto, I can do that as well. So what I am going to do is open YouTube, and we have a whole tutorial on how to upload a video to YouTube, but I will just briefly show you how to get there. I'm in youtube.com, I'm signed into my OU account, and what I'm going to do is click the create button and select upload video. And now all I have to do is drag and drop a video file to upload it to YouTube. So in the case of something recorded to my device, I just take the video file and I drag and drop it into this area. And now it's uploading. Now, if you remember, there was pretty much nothing in this video, so it's not really going to show anything here. But if you have content in your video, like um, a screen share or your face, you will see a preview of it typically. Uh, there's a whole bunch of settings here. I won't get too much into them, but you can always adjust all of these details. You click next all the way through and then select the visibility. Again, we have a full tutorial that talks about these. So I would probably put unlisted for now just so that it's not publicly available um, and only people with the link can watch the video. And then I click save. So now I have a link for this video if I want to share it with people. I can always go and preview it. I can change the title or anything else that I want to in the future. So that is how you record a meeting in Zoom or a video in Zoom and locate the mp4 video file and then place it in YouTube. You can do the same thing again with Panopto, with Uja, whatever your preferred video sharing platform is. If you have your recording made to the cloud, the process is a little bit different. So let's say I want to record to the cloud. Again, we're just going to start a new meeting. 
I will click record and select record to the cloud. So again, I can do all the same things I was doing before. I can share my screen, I can record my, my face, I can record my voice, I can do whatever I want to make my video. And it's recording it to the cloud. And what this means is it's going to be recorded online in my Zoom account and not saved to my specific device. So when I'm done, I'll click stop recording and I'll select yes. And then I will end the meeting. So now that I've ended the meeting, I will have to wait a moment for my recording to process, but once I'm ready, I can go to Oakland University's Zoom portal and I can log in with my NetID. So once I log in, I'll see all my upcoming meetings and I will want to click the recordings tab. And here I will see my cloud recordings. So as you can see, the one that I just did is still processing so it's not available yet, but once it's available, I'll be able to click the recording. And as you can see, I can see all the different options of the recording files. So if I had a shared screen, I can see shared screen with speaker view, just the speaker view, or just the shared screen. So maybe I did record my face, but I actually only want to keep the video that is my screen. I can choose to download just that. So what you can do is look at the specific file that you want and click the download button right next to it. You can also choose to download all of the files. So I will click download shared screen. As you can see, it's downloaded to my device. Now I can click it here to show in folder or I can just go to my files. I'll wanna look under downloads and I will see the recording there. And now at this point, it's the exact same steps as it was before to upload it to YouTube. All I'll do is drag and drop this video file into YouTube. And that's it. That is how you take a video that you've made in Zoom, record it to your device or your cloud, and find the video file to upload somewhere like YouTube or wherever you prefer.